Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to the book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, written by my pastor, Brother James W. Knox, and this is the cover of the second printing of the book, and this book is not in book format at the present time, but you can get the PDF file on the church website, and I'll give you that information at the end of the broadcast, and this is a devotional type of commentary where Brother James has different outlines and topics through each day of the year, and we've been going through this topic on Joseph and Potiphar, and we've reached part four for today, for this 20th day of September, and so we'll get into that here in a few minutes, but first I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, and he too can be your Lord and Savior today if he's not already, and that is the most important thing you can ever do is trust Jesus, believe on him, and he'll wash away all your sin, amen? As Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. So there's no other way to get to heaven but through God's way, and that's through his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, as I just mentioned. And once you get saved, once you realize you're a sinner and you're dead in trespasses and sin, and you can't save yourself, and water can't save you, and nothing else can save you, no man or woman can save you for that matter. And it's only Jesus Christ who can save your soul, and once he saves you, then the Holy Spirit comes and dwells inside of you and separates your soul from your uh, body, and your body won't be saved until you get your glorified body, so you still have to deal with this flesh, so we need to make sure we keep the old man crucified and dead, and, and it's a daily battle to do, and, and so make sure we are always letting the Holy Spirit have a rule and reign in our hearts and our lives and all that, So because we're bought with a price, and uh, amen. So... Um, if you're saved, hope you're continuing on for the Lord. And if you've gotten discouraged over something, uh, well, it's time to get back on track and keep on going. Amen. So let's uh, do that today and um, hope this broadcast will be a help and a blessing to you and help you learn something new or maybe remind you of something you have learned already and need to be reminded of. So let's go ahead and get started on this topic here um, as we're continuing through this um, this. A series of messages and topics on Joseph and Potiphar, part four, for this 20th day of September. And Brother James writes here and says here, uh, Of Joseph it is written, he was in the house of his master. Joseph did not have to be in special circumstances in order to enjoy the presence of God. Amen. Uh, certainly not in any religious community or any hallowed place, right? He was in the everyday environment of his ordinary domestic work. His routine, perhaps of menial tasks, was lit by the divine presence. Hallelujah. So it may be and should be with us, right? It should be. It is in our ordinary affairs that we may look for the presence and companionship of God. Oh, praise the Lord for that. Uh, we may be in Christ Jesus and yet in uh, Philippi. Philippians 1.1, 1, 1. we may be in, uh, we may be saints in Caesar's household, Philippians 4.22, in his labor as a prosperous servant, Joseph pictures the Lord Jesus, uh, Psalm 1.3, and Isaiah 53.10. Next note we have here, as we continue on down the page, it says God's presence in our our lives should be evident to the unbelievers with whom we come in contact, and that's verse 3 of the chapter. So, and it should be. Uh, and then next it says, He has lost his home and father, but not his God. Amen. And hallelujah for that. Verse 3. Again, uh, it is important to note that God did not promote him. His hard work moved the Egyptian, uh, moved the Egyptian to promote him. Hard work pays off. Proverbs 14.23 is the reference. And it says here next, uh, All was put into his hand because his hand was a diligent was a diligent one. And then the references are Ecclesiastes 9.10, Colossians 3.22-23, and Luke 16.10. Here, again, we see a foreshadowing of the coming Lord Jesus, John 3.35. And finally, here it says, Joseph's uh, master was well pleased with him, verse 4, and this was the testimony of God the Father with regard to his son, Matthew 3, 17, etc. So, praise the Lord for that. 
and I encourage you to check these references here because some of them might not always be right because sometimes a, a reference gets um, um, the wrong reference so it's good to check these references here as you're reading on and so again this is from chapter um, let's see this is from chapter 30 uh, 38 so or no 39 sorry so this is from chapter 39 on Joseph and Potiphar and we started this on uh, the 17th so amen so good stuff there on today's topic as always and so tomorrow we continue on with part five of Joseph and Potiphar and we have uh, three more days on this topic here so um, good stuff so far as I said and and um, if you have uh, learn something new hopefully hope uh, so um, or need to be reminded of something that you um, might have forgotten when you're reading this before so it's good to study the bible and and these are just little outlines to get you started on a more extensive study through god's word and uh, so amen and we're supposed we're supposed to study to show ourselves approved unto god a workman that needs not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth and and all that and and um going to God in prayer and seeking his face when we're um, reading the Bible and studying it out and good to have these um, commentaries too to kind of help you to get you going but um, uh, not not fully rely on the commentary but on the on the Bible and make sure that when you're reading commentaries that uh, you're checking the Bible make sure it lines up with uh, God's word and that there um, there's nothing um, that might be um, something questionable in there and if it is then to go check God's word and see if it's true or not so amen um, but praise the lord for these books from brother james and he goes straight from the bible and he studies it very extensively and all that so praise the lord for that and um, you can get this book or actually the pdf file for this particular book online at www.jameswnox.org or go straight to the store part of the website which is store dot jameswnox.org and look up this uh, pdf file for this book on the uh, store part of the website including other books that are still in print and then um, there's also preaching and teaching from God's Word from Brother James and other men that teach and preach the Bible so it's good to hear men teach and preach from the Bible there and as I said before that you get in the Bible and read it and study it <clears throat> and all that and, and um, make sure we're always in the King James Bible as this is the Word of God right here the, the King James Bible the Word of God in the English language so praise the Lord that we have it and uh, God's given it to us in in this language here so praise God for that and so that is about it for today so um, oh, one more thing um, the YouTube channel for the church is James Knox Sermons YouTube channel and watch the video presentations of the sermons including the ones he's going through now on the book of Hebrews and the one last night was really good too so they've been really good so far so check those out and then the uh, prayer closet series that he did before that and other messages um, from the past that he's uh, taught on um, many many out there on the uh, YouTube page and on the church website and then if you want to watch these broadcasts this one and then the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast you can do so by either watching on uh, Facebook if you're friends with me on Facebook or going to the YouTube channel which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel there and this is in a playlist now so i've been putting these in the playlist so it's easier for you to um, pull them up and all the way from the beginning of the year till now so amen uh, for these playlists that we can um, do so you can watch them easier so you don't have to keep scrolling down you can just go straight to the playlist and and watch them in order or if you missed any uh, that is so amen so that's that and the lord willing see you all next time bye, -bye for now